What are your thoughts on bargains? Personally, I'm a fan. Okay, so a couple weekends ago, we went to Austin for the Mr.'s birthday and also to visit some family. It was a really good time. On our second day, the kids really wanted to go to like bookshop, comic book shop, that type of thing and the guys were totally game, which left the ladies to our own devices, which is the best way for the ladies to be left, if you ask me. So my sister-in-law and I were trying to figure out what we should do. First, we actually discussed manicures, and fun fact, I've had fewer manicures than I can count on one hand. I certainly don't dislike them. I've enjoyed every one, but I just haven't made that a priority in my life, and so I thought it was really great, but also, tax time had just passed and I literally bit off all of my fingernails while preparing my taxes. It was a little more stressful this year than normal. <laughs> and so we decided that we were gonna go bargain shopping instead. Now, my sister-in-law and I are vastly different sizes. She's basically a medium, I'm a 3X, but we had so much fun together. We were just cheering each other on when we found winners, looking down the aisle at things that we couldn't imagine working, like lamenting whenever there was something so cute in a size that neither of us could wear. It was just great. And something that I found was that there was such a difference between one location and the other. We actually started at Nordstrom Rack. So in the future, I need to do a Nordstrom Rack video, like maybe a going shopping with me type thing. I don't know. But not today. That is not what this video is about. Today, we are talking about our awesome trip to Marshalls. Oh, apparently I bought something that wasn't close. Hopefully it wasn't fragile. We went to two different Marshalls also, and y'all, the plus size section in both of them was actually really, really great. I mean, there were not just like racks of plus size clothes. There were a couple of rows. It was a kind of unheard of. And I will say that I don't go to Marshall's that often. The one that's close to me is really close to the high school that my daughter is going to be going to. So I imagine myself uh, going to Marshall's more in the future. <laughs> But the last time that I went, there was not a huge plus size section. There were also a lot of people shopping, so I didn't want to really film in the store. I took a little bit of video of like just the racks, but I'm not super comfortable filming to where people will be in the background. I think that I'd love to do like a going shopping with me at a time that's like a weekday where I've taken the day off or maybe like, I don't know that a holiday would work. I will talk to an employee and ask when there is a low traffic time. But out of respect for everyone around me, I just need to figure out a time when I would be comfortable and I'm making all of the other shoppers comfortable as well. Also, we were having just a fun old time, so. I love it when I can find clothes that are just a fantastic value. And the things that I'm gonna show you are surely not what you would find at your Marshalls, but it'll give you an idea of like price and what you can find there, kind of branding quality wise. My sister-in-law is an attorney and she just started a new job and so she was looking for a lot of office appropriate pieces. And it is true that there was a lot more selection in dressier clothes in the smaller sizes, but I'm not upset with the things that I found. All right, y'all wanna see the goods? <laughs> okay, I think that it's best to just like start pulling stuff out of here. I just love these guys. I think that they're casual enough for, you know, just every day out on the town. They almost feel linen. They're definitely not though. I'll look in a second. But they remind me of some that I got from Wannable and I've worn those to work several times. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually grab them real quick. Okay, I probably didn't need these pants. They are incredibly similar. <laughs> But these were from Wannable and they were, um, they were fairly expensive. I'll put it on the screen. I'll go look it up on my account. And these were from Marshall's. They were $19.99. It says to compare at $26, which was, I mean, honestly, $26 is a steal compared to these guys. And they're by Christian Siriano. Now I got these in a 2X. They are completely elastic and they have a drawstring. The thing that I really liked about these were that it had the elastic waist back, but there was like a flat front. I think that that looks a little bit dressier if I'm tucking in, but I don't always have to tuck in. So these were just a wide leg, super casual. They have pockets, black and white, adorable pants. And I think I got a top that kind of coordinates. So this is by Philosophy. I got this in a 3X and it was $16.99. It is incredibly soft. So on my softest scale between like, plain old Hanes tea and super, super buttery soft. This is, this is a four. Love it. I thought that the sleeves were kind of neat. So the body is that super buttery soft fabric and then the sleeves are like a chiffon. And then they have this really pretty pleating and ruffle detail on the edges. I just thought that this was super cute. Okay, yeah, like the philosophy part. Let's go check her out. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make it through all of my try-ons without shapewear. I normally wear shapewear just about every day. Some people may love that, some people may not. It's what makes me typically feel comfortable. That said, I actually have a hernia right now, and some days the shapewear actually feels better, and today is not one of those days. So this is what it is, 
and the show must go on. This top is just as comfortable as it was when I was standing over there. I really like it. The pants are also fantastic. I probably could have gone to the 3X because they're not super flowy on me like I'd like, but I think that they're probably going to be fine. I'm going to show you the back. And this is just such a comfortable laid back outfit. Honestly, I think it's dressy enough to where I could wear it to the office. A front tuck looks fine. When I was shopping, I actually liked the pants better than the top, but I think here, I like the top better. Just the way it feels. I like the detail on the shoulders and I really love having a black solid top. There is something to be said for the print being on bottom and the solid being on top. Okay, so there is quite a bit of black in my bag. Next, we've got some just plain old black trousers. And the reason that I got these was because of this beautiful little red tag here. This was 12 bucks. I mean, for a dress pair of pants by Jones, New York, I can use these any day. I don't know if you've ever seen the tribal ones. I've gotten a few of those in from Stitch Fix, but I haven't kept them. I don't love the way that they feel. These felt really nice, but they're very similar in that there is no button or zip. They are just slide-ons, but they don't look like they're slide-ons. So win-win. And then what I wanted to pair that with was this top. And this is a 3X, it's by Cupio. It has lace shoulders. It's a really pretty, not super lightweight, honestly. It is, um, I mean, it's fairly heavy, but a very breathable feeling fabric. It's got a lot of detailing. It kind of reminded me of a Daniel Rain. There's pleating down here. The front has that same lace that goes down and comes on up. I honestly just thought that this was a great top at a super bargain. The tag did fall off, but it was 12 bucks as well. So this also says compare at $26. I think it would have been a good price at $26, but I'm not putting my nose up to 12. Okay, yeah, these pants were like the deal of the century. I think that these are fantastic. They've got that kind of permanent press pleating just a little bit toward the bottom. When I was going back into an actual office job, I was looking high and low for like affordable pants. So if that's you, head to your local Marshalls and see if they've got something. I think that these were just, I mean, honestly a steal. I like the way they feel. I love it whenever you have a dress pant that has casual pant properties. I could be happy and sit in these all day with absolutely no restriction really love it. The top, on the other hand, I think is really honestly just okay. I don't think it does a lot for my shape. I think that maybe it feels a little bit more dated and I think maybe it's the lace and print together. I can't put my finger on it. Whenever I saw it on the rack, I loved it. But in person, it's just not screaming to me. The sleeves have a ballooning property. I do like that. I like the crocheted sleeves. I really don't know what it is, but just not screaming, keep me Meredith. Next. Okay, next is by Tahari. And this is just a nice black office dress. I loved how versatile this was. It's just a, like a faux wrap black dress, super simple. It's really super slinky. I think that at the office, I could easily throw a cardigan on. I could easily throw a coordinating jacket. It could be black and totally blend, or I could have something fun. I just got this really cool teal one from City Chic, and I think that it would look really cool over a dress. So super nice and stretch, a wrap. Sure, this is a poly. Yeah, 95% polyester, 5% elastane. <laughs> I found what was heavy. So this was on clearance. This is one of my favorite hairsprays. It's big, sexy hair. So if I curl my hair in the morning, it'll fall by noon. But if I curl it and then I spray it, and it doesn't have to be this, but this is one that I purchased multiple times at like Ulta, Sephora, and for $10, you can't beat it. Okay, here's the Tahari, and honestly, this is where I was most concerned about like the shapewear and contouring, but I honestly don't think it's bad. I think the, that it's black definitely helps make me feel a little smoother. Again, that's absolutely up to your personal comfort level. I recently had someone bring to my attention that I used the word thinness, like this made me look thinner and that like I associated that with looking better. And I do have to admit that my head goes there and I'm really sorry, I would never mean for my words to offend anyone, but I think there is something in our culture that those words just are the ones that come to mind. And I'm doing, I do this unscripted, I'm telling you my thoughts whenever I put it on, but I will say that having a smoother feel to my body does make me feel more confident. And what I am looking for and what I want for you in all of this is for you to feel comfortable in your own skin, for you to feel beautiful in things that you bring in. And that means different things to different people. And I'm gonna tell you, I will absolutely not always use the right words, but I, will promise you that I will always bring you like 100% genuine me. So for better or worse, that's what we get. <laughs> Honestly, this dress is awesome. Perfect for the office. I'm going to throw it in the wash and 
probably wear it next week. It's got a faux wrap that is doing its faux and its best, and I love the faux wrap. I think that it is fantastic, especially in the washing machine. I literally was doing clothes earlier and I had this string of something that was wrapped around all my clothes. I try to take them off beforehand. No, I don't. I wish that I would take them off beforehand. <laughs> And then I always kick myself when things come out of the dryer and there are wet spots because they're wrapped around in cords. So this one's not gonna do that to you. Good job, little cord. It does not go crazy low cut, which I am 100% a fan of. And there's a nice flow to it. Very A-line, cut kind of where I need it. All in all, excellent dress. Oh, okay, this one felt totally 90s to me. And uh, like, I, I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it and then finally was like, girl, just go for it. We're we're having a bargain shopping day today. How much would you have spent on a manicure? I actually don't know. I haven't done enough of them to um, no, but probably way less than this. This was $30. I think that makes it the most expensive thing in my haul, but I really, really like it. It's kind of like an acid wash denim look, but it has much more of a chambray feel. Like it is super incredibly lightweight, very, very soft. And I thought that it had some great detailing. The button area is much more detailed. I mean, that's what you kind of expect with acid wash, that that's got a lot more texture to it than the body. And I thought that everything about it was neat. It has some really great sleeves. It's got like a double ruffle. And then the back has that nice line across it that has some gathering that's going to give a little bit of freedom and it just always helps with a little bit of backflow. This is by Jane and Delancey. I don't know the brand, but I loved the dress. Okay, <laughs> this is like the stuff of my teenage self's dreams. I mean, I really, really love it. It reminds me of the 90s in the acid wash and kind of the denim dress, but then it also has like a hard and soft. We've got the little ruffle sleeves and we've got the plain down. This is definitely not something that I'd wear the office. I wanna see what a belt would do. I've got one handy. I think probably black would be better, but let's see what that does. I don't know if it makes it a little too short because a lot of times I feel like I need a little bit of shape whenever it comes to a dress like this. It's more expensive than the Tahari dress and the Tahari dress is much more practical, but I think that this is all a really good glimpse of what you can find at your local Marshalls. Okay, and then my last item is this incredibly lightweight, like shirt, jacket combo. It feels like linen. I don't know that it is. This is also by Jones New York, just like those pants. Yeah, this is 60% linen, 40% cotton. So all natural fibers, really, really happy with this. I actually put it on like standing in the rack and I just thought that it was so cute. Look, it has this little tab on the back that kind of pulls in and gives a little bit of shape. It is hooded. The hood does have a drawstring with some really pretty grommets. It's got nice, nice heavy metal hardware. And then just the buttons and everything. This is something that I could do as a layering piece in the summer. And because it is like a cotton linen blend, it's gonna have plenty of breathability. It's going to feel super lightweight. 100% happy with this piece. I could not pass it up. And how much was she? And this one's also $29.99. So this one tied for the most expensive. All in all, super, super pleased with this haul. Somehow this recording got messed up. And so I am adding it in now. I'm in the middle of filming a Stitch Fix video and decided that it was the perfect time. So this is absolutely adorable. I think that it is the perfect lightweight layering piece. So if I'm wearing something that is sleeveless or something that I'm not quite as comfortable with, this can absolutely dress it up. It can be something that I can throw on just if I want an extra layer. I think that it's adorable buttoned or unbuttoned. And I love the detailing. In the back, we've got that tab with the two buttons and then it's, it's cinched in either way because that stitch is there. It has sleeves that have a coordinating button and a similar tab that are permanently up. And I just love the fabric and the weight. All, all in all, this one is really, really cute. Here it is with the hood. I don't ever put hoods up. I don't really know why I would need to, even though my hair is pretty thin and it does get sunburned, maybe that would be a good idea. But here it is with the hood up. Uh, I think of my hoods kind of as a decorative piece hanging down on my back. I think this is a great buy. That was a lot. I'm gonna sit down for a sec. Welcome to my flexi spot, spot, spot. Lulu, what do you think of this chair? It looks like it's Lulu approved. Today I'm bringing you the flexi spot XL6. And when they initially reached out to me, I kind of thought about what I would do with it. And here's the thing. I actually have a hernia surgery coming up. And my initial thought was, you know what? Once that surgery hits, I'm probably going to want something like this that's comfortable, helps me stand up, that kind of thing. But I wasn't positive of the time frame. It's going to be late summer. So I thought I'm gonna sit on it just a little bit. Well, we had an aunt who was in a rehab facility after a hospitalization 
and I was told that she absolutely could use it. And then we just had another family member who got out of the hospital and he could absolutely use it. So I thought if three people, including me in my very close family could benefit from something like this, maybe this is information that y'all would enjoy. And that's it. This is the Flexi Spot. XL6 power lift chair. It's different than a regular recliner in that it does the full reclining mode, but then it also completely stands you up. And then one major selling point to me is that it has heating and massage with three modes for each. It's not just a recliner in that, you know, it leans back, lifts your legs up. It can actually lay you down to almost 180 degrees. This is a dual motor machine that will lift your leg and then lay you almost all the way back. And then whenever you're getting up, you can have it in just like regular seated mode or you can have it stand you all the way up. It can take you to a totally comfortable position to read a book, watch TV, or all the way down to essentially a sleeping position. This one comes with a pillow that I'm using kind of in my lumbar area, but if I'm laying down, can totally go behind my head. All right, this is the Flexi Spot completely flat and I do have to say it is incredibly comfortable. I'm gonna show you how it can completely stand you up. You have to have the base fully in and then the seat totally up. And then this guy is going to very slowly lift you from a seated position to a practically standing position. I can just stand and walk out. It comes in just under $500, and I do have a discount code right here that will get you $50 off. It's also in my description box. One of the biggest things about this chair in particular is that it has a 400 pound weight limit, and because of that, it's got a much stronger lifter, and you can feel confident that it will hold your weight. Now, my absolute favorite thing about this chair are the heat and massage function. Because there are two cords, there's a little loop right here that makes it to where once you're where you wanna be, it's not gonna fall if you just let it roll, but I kind of like keeping them in this little storage pocket. I like to call this the fun control. This has four different places where it's massaging. It has my back, which is basically my upper back, lumbar, lower back, and then it has thighs and leg. I think for best results, I need to be in a relaxation position. The legs and thighs are not my favorite, but they would be fantastic if you're struggling with leg circulation. But I think that this is both therapeutic and incredibly relaxing. There are several modes. We've got this first one. Oh yeah, I like that one. The second is just a consistent vibration. And then the third is a cycling. It's like I feel little hands massaging me up and down my body. And then on top of that, with or without it, I can turn on heat. And the heat has three different temperature settings, low, medium, and high. And then on top of all of that, you have timers for all of it, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 60 minutes. You can also decide that you want to focus on just one of those areas. I really like just the back or just the lumbar. Right now I've got the lumbar going. It's a little distracting and awesome all at the same time. Mode two, medium vibration, high heat is my jam. I really like the way that this feels and I'm a little bit torn because I am actually sending this to one of my family members, but I'm a little sad that she's not staying here. If you have any questions, Flexi Spot has some great customer service. You're also welcome to ask me and I'm happy to ask my representative. That's probably enough of a rest. It is time for me to get back to the Marshalls Hall. If this is something that you like, I would love to hear from you. Let me know. If you're interested in anything from Flexi Spot, I've got a discount code. I'm really, really happy with the chair. It's going to have a wonderful home, even though I would have been happy to keep it. I appreciate you guys watching so much. My channel is literally nothing without you. And the best way in the world that you can support me is by doing what you are doing right now and watching because you are amazing. And then after that, if you wanna take some action, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all of those things go a long way to building my channel, making it grow, and just generally making me happy. I thank you so much for being here today and I will see you in the next one.